to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. Oh my goodness, I have so much to talk about, but I want to get right to the music. So last year at Make We Joy, <coughs> which is a production of Flock Theater that happens every year around the holiday season um, and reflects joy, um, I heard this young man do some music and some of it was original and I chased him down after the show and I was like I need you to come on my TV show and he was more than willing and he actually was on back in March right before COVID hit us and told us we couldn't go anywhere or do anything but I felt that because everything is the way it is today that for him to come back and bring us his texture his recipe of original music would be just what we need at this time in our hmm, pandemically driven woes. He's got joy, he's got music, he's going to bring you some fun. He sings some songs that will make you think and make you want to reflect and will lighten the spirit and also... Um, give you entertainment. That's what we're here for. So anyway, please help me welcome into your home, Mr. Noah Todd. Makes my mind stuck all on you. I can't bear it. Why should I fight no one so true? Didn't share this, so please come kiss me now before you go. Come kiss me now I just want to know Alone in the night the trees gather do and now I know that I can't relate feeling so high you must see me too but we got nothing to say in the flash of my eyes did you see that my heart forgot to be Nothing so right, oh I knew from the start Knew what I needed, oh Please come kiss me now Before you go Please come kiss me now I just want Why don't I Remember what happened since I saw you last Everybody else to me is lost in the past I said 
Open up the window so I can show you the night. Listen to the lion tell you to close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes So you can Please come kiss me now Please come kiss me Come kiss me My head is spinning like da 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 Thank you. That song is called Pakikum. It's P-C-K-M. That was the song that I ended the last session with, but I wanted to play the whole thing for you guys. Um, in the last few months, I've written a slew of new stuff. Uh, so here's a song that I recently wrote. It's called Midnight Hero. Something pounding in my head Tomorrow it will rain again Heavily, heavily Midnight ringing through the God had saw me there For the which I heard him say Tomorrow is as was today Heavily, heavily Something pounding in my head Tomorrow it will rain again Heavily, heavily Midnight hero hear me Sometimes that's just the way it goes Something pounding in my head Maybe this will help forget Heavily, heavily Something pounding in my head Tomorrow it'll rain again Heavily, heavily
Thank you very much. That was a song that I had originally um, written for one of Flock's summer productions, Much Ado About Nothing, which Shakespeare has songs in some of his plays. So I arranged that song uh, and I liked my arrangement and I wanted to make my own song from it. So that's where that came from. This next song is called, uh, it's called Sinai. And it's the most recent one that I've written. Saw me falling inside my mind I swear this happens all the time And I can't help but feeling It will happen down the line I want it out I want it out I wanted everything you said You can't live without I swore to God that it's all in my head But you said, then you said Stay where you are and close your eyes Even though I couldn't breathe Just one look and now you're mine Give me just one more minute here Broken bones are my last bed. What if Mama could see me now? Would she be proud of me? Doesn't matter what I do, you gave me wine when I asked for water. I know I'm falling by the sound, but I don't know why. I'm standing up and I'm on the ground. We all came from Sinai. I'll be the I just didn't think that this would be why everyone would know my name. Bad guys running, bad guys running home, bad guys running, bad guys running home, the bad guys running, bad guys running home. Bad guys running, bad guys running. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
uh yeah it ends very suddenly um that's that's the sort of thing where when i have my other guys it's like big jam outro sort of thing which is a lot of fun um a lot of the songs that i've written in the last six months are much more i think thoughtful and introspective than my previous year of writing or two years of writing uh but man they can be a little sad <laughs> uh this is a cover of the receiving end of it all by streetlight manifesto when i first started performing this before i had written anything of my own this was the very first song that i actually put myself out there and performed and i arranged it it's a big punk song and i made this sort of folky cover it a co cover of it this is the receiving end of it all by streetlight manifesto <laughs> Mary go my love you've had too much to drink and I need not remind you our discount tickets for the sinking ship take bags and sweet regrets. It's all that we have left. No one is looking out for anyone but number one to one, two to dance. We all get our sweet romance, though sour grapes may turn to wine. It's all just vinegar with time and oh, I wanna know. We all want to know How can anybody treat somebody so? She said it hurts too much I said it'll never hurt enough No one will ever see these cuts No one will ever call this bluff That's just the way that it goes And when he left us he said It's not so bad That motherfucker he took everything we had and when i'm thinking back i'll be counting all the ways nobody helped us so we dreamt of better days and we sang that's just the way that we used to be in love but now we're just in like and we broke all our promises and baby that ain't right Cause you don't know what it's like To lose it all No, oh, oh, no We are not on the receiving end of it all, no We are not on the receiving end We'll beg and plead But no one here will save you Why would they try? When they can't quite save themselves Merry go Someday we'll have to write a script and I can't stop denying or oh, ashamed of all the selfish things we did Dropped out of every single friendship that you had They nearly loved you but you never could have loved somebody back Tell me of your sorrows, tell me everything from the start I'd like to do my part to help a friend in need I said you could come to me, but when you needed someone most, I wasn't there, I wasn't even. She said it hurts too much, I said it'll never hurt enough. No one will ever see these cuts, no one will ever call this bluff. That's just the way that it goes. And when he left us, he said, it's not so bad. That motherfucker, he took everything we had and when i'm thinking back i'll be counting all the ways nobody helped us so we 
dreamt of better days and we say that's just the way that we used to be in love but now we're just in like and we broke all our promises and baby that ain't right because you take it back take it back because i don't know take it back take it back because you don't know what it's like to be on the receiving end of it all no we are not on the receiving end of it all no we are not on the receiving end we'll beg and plead but no one here will save you why would they try when they can't quite save themselves. Thank you very much. I love playing that song. Like I said, that was one of the first songs. I guess I tried my hand at writing because I arranged that one. Um, so I always love going back to play it. Here's a song that I that I also wrote in the last few months. It's called Where Will You Be? Um, and full band, it's kind of like a big, also a big punky anthem sort of thing, but I also like playing it solo and it has sort of like a more serious acoustic, nice tone to it. This is Where Will You Be? the gentleman by the madhouse strike the jackpot strike my light young and old man he know not but who decides where he lies live like jacob look the gentry i wear my jacket and i do my part Hate the men who built their rackets upon our backs So where does it start in that descending bone Of men's lives not told Oh, it is only seven days Pray to God that you'll be fine where will you be when the hammer strikes the bottom of our vine? There's children smoking, old men crying, time's a joker but always right. Blessed are the blinded, how they wonder Why lock my door in a village like mine Bent as before some foul throne We are the kings of the stones Oh, it is only seven days Pray to God that you'll be fine where will you be when the hammer strikes the bottom of our vine? The ones who bleed were once the ones who shared your wine. Where will you be when we saved them and the ones you love have died? the gentleman with the finger and he's fed up full of time where will you be when the winged people light the pharaoh's eyes and that descending bone of men's lives not told hear our song of our own of how we will not grow old. It is only seven days Pray to God that you will be fine Where will you be when the hammer strikes the bottom? 
bottom of our vine The ones who bleed Were once the ones who shared your wine Where will you be when we saved them And the ones you love have died The day I leave will be as empty as the day I came and above me is an angel, but my father doesn't know my name. Seven days, pray to God that you'll be fine. Where will you be when the hammer strikes the bottom of our vine? Thank you very, very much. That one's a bit of a bear <laughs> to play through. Um, the next song that I want to play, um, this one's an oldie. It's called Stone Gonzalez. I may have played it before, but I love this song. This one's a little longish. Also finger picky. I love that stuff. Um, this is, a, again, an original song of mine from about a year ago called Stone Gonzalez. Hello, Mr. Dream It's another lonely night Hollow underneath I see new colors in your eyes it is never how it seems Here, deep inside my dreams Here I lay down Here Stuck inside my bed Like a river turned to stone What else do we get Besides the notches in our bones I am almost round the bend Here Deep inside my head To my queen, why don't you sing another song? Back in the between, into a different kind of fog. What is what I see? Here, can this really be? Do you know the way? Well, 
I do And I I dreamt the day I slide through And so they say you go to buy two to buy two please let it all fall out of my mind please let it all fall out of my mind please let it all fall out of my mind please let it all fall out of my Yes, I would love to do one more quick song. Uh, quick being the operative word, because I know that some of those later ones drag on a bit. Uh, this song is a quick little song. It's called Brewster. I want to find your hair left behind in my bed I want to kiss you close not just within my head I want to sing out loud and catch you listening it's just that sort of thing she said she wants a man who works and stays on track I know that I can't help from falling on my back I want to prove to you there's more to me than dream At least I think I'm all bottled up I can't take it anymore Remember when I promised I had nothing left to pour I only said I'd listen cause I thought that you might kiss me Take me to Brewster Take me to the long night I always thought I'd find my picture in your purse I wish I'd known it would develop in reverse Can't tell if I can help bring from this home I know So should I go I'm all bottled up I can't take it anymore Remember when I promised I had nothing left to pour said I'd listen cause I thought that you might kiss me take me to Brewster take me to the long night I grew up with a ghost he echoes in these halls do you think I'm a man if I'm not standing tall? Maybe if I change you'd show me where you lay But I'm afraid I'm all bottled up I can't take it anymore Remember when I promised I had nothing left to pour only said I'd listen cause I thought that you might kiss me take me to Brewster take me to the long night
guitar and coming over and miking up. Let me just remind you about some of the wonderful things that happen in downtown New London. I need to tell you that there are artisans, artists, that live in our city that do amazing things. So some of the places you can check those, place, those pieces of art out are Studio 33, that's a framing shop, but they frame art from all over the place and there are jewelers that put their jewelry that they make homemade in that, in that store. It's awesome. Another place where you can find homemade, handmade, handcrafted jewelry is um, Northern Light Gems Jewelry. And that's on State Street. And Tony's doing amazing things with gold and silver and gems. It's, it's incredible. Local merchants doing local art, let's support them. Let's give back to our community by supporting local people. That's what it's all about, right? I'm going to talk to Noah. I know you guys are out shopping. Go shop at one of these places or do something. You don't have to buy anything. Just go look at the art. That's the fun part. Hi, Noah. Hey. Oh, my goodness. So let's give, let's give credit where credit's due and thank Flock Theater for hooking you and I up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Right? So you're still with Flock, so you're doing things with them. Mm -hmm. But you're writing music. How yeah. does that feel? This is like you're really doing it now. Like this <laughs> is, you're getting prolific at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, in my stride, I bust out like a new song a month. Um, which adds up over time. And now I have yeah, like do. this back catalog of songs that I wrote and I have no idea how to play them because I write them and then move on to the next thing. Right. Um, but in the last, since I saw you last, I've probably written five or six different songs. I played three or four of them just now. How does that feel to be genuinely a songwriter? Truthfully, it's more frustrating than I'd like it to be <laughs> because when I get into a pattern of like, okay, a song a month, and then I really get this block on, on something I'm working on, it's like, mm -hmm. why isn't this easy like some of the other ones? Um, so those last two songs I wrote, for instance, I remember Brewster, I wrote Labor Day of 2019, and I remember that exactly because I wrote it in one day, okay. all of it. And then the song right before that, Stone Gonzalez, took me over a year to write and finish. But it's a great song. I, I love that song. I even, I know that I meander a little bit in my songwriting sometimes. I probably cut off like another, a minute and a half or two minutes of that song for oh, the wow. purpose of time. Um, and so I, I know that not every audience can handle like eight to 10, seven minute songs in a row. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right. Right. People's um, attention, de they have a te attention deficit disorder when it comes to long <laughs> songs. Right. I like long songs myself. I think I look back at the history of long songs, mm. and uh, the Beatles did some long songs, but the first long song was American Pie mm -hmm. by Don McLean, and certainly at my age at that time in my life, we all fell in love with that song. Right. Enough about Don McLean. <laughs> Seriously. But... I think that songs that go over five minutes have a tendency to be redundant and repetitive. But mm. if it's a good song like what you're writing, keep doing what you're doing. Don't break your stride. Right. I, there's, um, there's an element that you achieve with some of those longer songs. Uh, and I think that it just goes hand in hand with the work I do in theater because mm -hmm. those songs are really like storytelling kind of songs. Exactly. I do have one or two songs that are like verse, chorus, bubblegummy, like easy to listen to. <laughs> but... But those longer songs, particularly since I've written in the last several months, mm -hmm. they are like those sort of thoughtful, long form poetry almost uh -huh. sort of writing. Do you find that um, during these last few months of us being uh, socially distanced and going through the political um, time that we're going through, I'm trying to be politically correct here. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you find that your writing has taken on a different kind of voice 
um, during this time oh, yeah, in absolutely. history? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the song that I most recently finished, I played today, Sinai, which is also a song without a chorus. <laughs> it just just is straight through basically a poem. Um, and I've I've reexamined a lot of my my Jewish heritage. Yep. And there's this this idea that every Jew who ever lives was at Mount Sinai when we got the Ten Commandments. And so there's that concept that is taken into so in this lifetime, am I, to be very straightforward about it, am I the person whose knee is on someone's neck or am I the person on the ground? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's basically what that song's about. And I never really tapped into that kind of motif, I guess, before in my writing. How does that feel to you? I, I think that it's good. I think it's a good thing. <laughs> um, just because it's pushed me in a different direction, but also I'm happy that like, I think you could listen to that song without the political context and get something different out of it. Okay. Because I'm personally not a fan of, um, not that I'm not a fan, I just don't tend to listen to songs that are very heavy handed about their politics. Right. Um, so that message is my message that I put into it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be what's broadcast, which I think I succeeded at and I'm happy about if yeah, that answers your question. Yeah, it's a great song. Thank you. Do you realize or recognize that in, I think, every song that you played, there's a reference to wine? Oh, really? Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think that there was a song that you did that didn't reference wine at least once. Or definitely alcohol. I know there's that. <laughs> I mean, there's, um, like, so Brewster... I, I frame, sometimes when I play for my audience, I'm like, here's a fun song about going to Brewster with my friends. And it's this like horribly sad song basically about um, being too into your own alcohol for anybody to want to come near you. It, it, that's like what that song's about. And it comes from, the name comes from when I went to school over in Danbury. Mm -hmm. um, when the liquor stores would close in Connecticut, they were open in New York later. And so that was the closest town. We would pop right into Brewster, New York to go get to more the, alcohol. Right, right, right. And so that's, that's where that song comes from. We used to do that. We used to pop over to Westerly. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> on Sundays, because we couldn't get alcohol on Sundays in Connecticut. So right. we'd go to Westerly. It was all good. Right. It was a wonderful thing back in those. That was a long time ago for me. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a drink in 27 years. That's a long time. Congratulations. To go with, yeah, that's, that's a long time to go without drinking, that's right? That's incredible. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to rethink that. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness. What is it, we've talked about some of the topics of your songs, but what is it that makes you sit down and write, makes you, not, not, not you making yourself, I have to write a song this month, but what makes you, oh, I need to write about that? I, it's funny because I have a song that I'm currently working on where I have that exact dilemma almost. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mean to sound pretentious. There's this like concept with really prolific songwriters, like Bob Dylan would say, um, you know, he doesn't write the song, it like comes to him out of the air and it's channeled through him or like that kind of mindset. And I believe that a little bit because I sat down, I wrote this chorus that is about um, basically giving something a second chance and it not working out. But the frame of the song is like returning home and that not working out. But then the lyrics that my brain is pulling up are more about like relationship sort of skew. Um, I was wondering if that's where that was going. Right. It's right. And so it's like I wanted to write a song about a house and my brain's not letting me. And so there is a combination of like there I find a topic that I do feel strongly about, but that doesn't always mean that I can write it yet, <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. I understand that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that I don't write music, mm. but when you songwriters write music, it usually tells me something that I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Usually something that you write about makes me feel the way that I'm feeling and puts words to it. Does nice. that make any sense? Yeah. It's, it's an amazing thing to me. First of all, 
let me just backtrack for a second. I don't consider Bob Dylan a songwriter. <laughs> He's a poet. Right. But he was not much of a musician. There's no, the song element is loose. <laughs> <laughs> I, everybody loves Bob Dylan, and he was an amazing, amazing poet. Right. He was. Oh, his lyrics are really what, where it shines. Absolutely. But a musician and his voice. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't even think I own a Bob Dylan album, and I've got hundreds of albums. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a Bob Dylan. Now ask me if I have some Beatles. I, I'm, all, I'm all over that. I love mm -hmm. the Beatles, but not so much Bob Dylan. Arlo Guthrie, um, Joan Mitchell, uh, some of these, Peter, Paul, and Mary. I love Simon Peter, and, Paul, and Mary. Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. Peter, Paul, and Mary did... Um, D the um, did um, dragon, puff the magic, puff the magic dragon. dragon right. Puff the magic dragon, and I can't hear it without crying. I cry every single time I hear that song. It's so so true mm -hmm. about what happens with little boys mm -hmm. when they turn into men. Right. They let go of all that imagination and all that stuff. Do you feel that that's happening with you as you're becoming the man that you're becoming? The imagination element? Mm. Uh, I, in certain ways, but I think the fact that I live in so many artistic mediums, particularly like theater, uh, gives me the opportunity to continue mm -hmm. to sort of like take that childlike imagination and hone it into a theater piece or a song or what. Like I have outlets for it that I know largely, particularly adult men tend to not have, which is a shame. You're right. You know? It is a shame. It's too bad. And I'm so happy that Flock Theater has given you that that thing, that that outlet, that that um that plug. Mm. Not even an outlet, a plug in mm. that helps you continue with your songwriting that you write for Flock. Right. That's so cool. Mm. That's so cool. Um does Flock have any upcoming shows that we can that we can tell the audience about? So Flock, because we we went into virtual productions a little bit, and one of the virtual productions we've been working on for a long time is our. We have an associate playwright who made our, our own adaptation of Jane Eyre. Oh, and nice! And so that's coming up. We we I mean we've been working on that since March basically, okay. and as you can imagine, there were so many delays. Um, but we're also integrating a lot of really, really cool shadow puppetry elements. Oh, nice. Um, and we're, we're, Flock is so good we're, at that. We're, we're working on those and filming those currently. So there's no, no specific date for Jane Eyre, but that's coming down the pipeline. And then our goal with Mac, Macbeth, which we do every year, Yep, is to right around al Halloween. also find some kind of way to film that. So that'll be easy to consume for everybody. Right, right. So people can maybe find out the answers to this question at flocktheater.org? Flocktheater.org, and it's theater with an R-E at the end, not E-R. And then also um, we've been really keeping up to date on like our Facebook page, Instagram page, all over. We're just constantly trying to get the word out for that. That's awesome. Um, if you send me uh, tidbits about what's going on, I will definitely put it on my radio show. I'll talk about it on my Excellent. radio show. Cool. So we'll do that. Um, where do you think your songwriting is going to take you within the next couple of years? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, in, like, February or March, I think I had a clear answer to that. Right now, this is the first time I've been able to perform somewhere yeah, <laughs> since <it's> March. <laughs> the pandemic. Right. But this is all going to be over. It's all going right. to go away. It may take a minute. <laughs> it's already taken several minutes. Mm -hmm. It may take a couple more minutes, but it is going to go away. Mm -hmm. All epidemics, all pandemics, all diseases eventually die. Right, right. Well, I will say that I finally nailed down uh, members for a completely filled out band and we're starting to record. How's that sound? It's very excellent. It's very good. And Are you doing like punky things or folky things or a it's, little I, punk I, folk? It, yeah, folk punk is how I always described 
my band, but I know that I also do some like singer songwriter kind of writing too. Okay. But maybe like acoustic rock is the good blanket term okay. <laughs> for it. It's All cool. Right. I mean, it's I play flamenco guitar, which is interesting. I have another guitarist playing like a normal acoustic and also an electric, depending on the song. There's an upright bass. Nice. Super cool. And then a full drum kit, and it's it sounds excellent. Who's who's your super bass player? I mean, your upright bass player. It's a uh, Ben Perry who is in a number of local bands, yes, including Llama Tsunami, yeah, Bank yeah. Street Groove, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yep. And he's a producer, and he's, I've known him for forever, because um, my brother at one point was in Llama Tsunami, and it's, he's great, he's excellent. He's an amazing young man. Yeah. He is, I um, saw him over the weekend, actually. Nice. Yeah, so uh, he's, he's a good musician. I was wondering if it was him. Mm -hmm. So, um, the band is getting together and practicing. You're gonna go into the studio. Yep. And put out a whole CD. Yes. And then you're gonna bring that CD and come back here. <laughs> and by then this pandemic will be gone so that we can put the whole band in the studio. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I would right. love that. I would love that. That would be so much fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so we'll put that on the table. So it's on the table. Mm. And when you're ready, when that CD is done, We'll promote the heck out of it. Right. We'll play it on the radio. We'll play it on the TV show. Excellent. And we'll have the band in here. And that will be so much fun. Cool. All right. So we're almost to the end of the show because that's what happens. Right. We run out of time. <laughs> I hate that. Mm -hmm. If you had one wish and your wish would absolutely come true, and not necessarily a wish for the world, mm. but if that's what you want to give me a wish, what would your wish be if you absolutely knew that your wish could come true? I think, um, and this is, I think that I've had a lot of strong artistic opportunities in my life and in my artistic career. I'm a full-time mm -hmm. artist and I still right. am even during the pandemic. But I went to school with a, tons and tons of artists who don't, have those opportunities, it's all luck, right, you know? Right. And so I've been thinking a lot lately about how usually it's like a financial barrier for people to get their work out there. And I, I wish that people just had the tools and had the platform to hone their creative work because I think too often it just kind of gets squashed because they couldn't hire a producer for something. They couldn't get that film camera. They couldn't, you know, collaborate with the right people. And that's a shame. It is. Yeah. What a wonderful wish that is. It's so much about other people and not about yourself. That just tells the world what kind of a person you are. Well, don't get me wrong. I also wish that I had the camera and the, <laughs> and the other stuff. <laughs> Well, you are. You're on camera today. Yeah, thank you so much Would for having me. do me a huge favor and take us out with a song? Yes, I will. And it's going to be my cover, incidentally, of All Along the Watchtower by Bob Dylan, just because oh, you said you wow. hated it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. All right, guys. So our governor has issued a proclamation or whatever it is that we have to out in public wear your mask. Please, please, please. Do what's right so that we can get rid of this pandemic. Don't go gallivanting around and hitting it up with all everybody and everything, mix and match and max and mix. Just put your mask on. Do what you have to do out there. Get out and socially distance, but get out and socially distance. Let's get rid of this pandemic. Stay safe and healthy until next week. Love you all. Bye-bye. Must be some kind of way out of here Said the joker to the thief There is too much confusion I can't get no relief Businessman Drink my wine And plowmen, they dig my earth None of them along the line 
know what any of it's worth No reason to get excited The thief he kindly spoke There are many here among us who fear that life is but a joke But you and I, we've been through all that And this is not our fate So let us not talk falsely now The hour's getting Lay. Tower